we were welding up the outside but it was started to get a bit dangerous so maybe we continue with that now that we know the inside is secure I don't see any spiders right let's keep our eyes and ears open for spiders So once we've got this outer rim done here, we can get the lower levels. Right, we have spiders. But the idea is once we've got this lower level done, we can do the lower levels of these from the inside much easier I could do it I could continue from there but right, we need to take those spiders out somehow it's possible they could climb up to the top Could also be that they despawned or went back underground. I guess they've wandered out somewhere else. Might be easier to see them when daylight comes. Right, we desperately, desperately need to get some sort of antenna system, some sort of turret system up here, so. Maybe we do that now. I mean, piping was on the list of things that we had to do, so... We've got our conveyors already on the list there, so... Okay, so let's, let's think about how we do this first. And try not to do that. There's a hole in the ceiling there because of that. <sighs> All the way back up. Right, let's be aware that there's a hole there. Right, so right here we definitely need to have a normal conveyor. That's a door. Right. How many ways are we going to go from here, possibly? I think it'll just be the one out of this one. I mean, I could run... A line out here with the actual normal conveyor blocks. Oh uh, yeah, we could do that actually. Let's T junction it. So if we T it like that. And then we could do I'm just a bit worried about something shooting up my truck, but we can't worry too much about stuff like that. Right. Um Turret Gatlin, I think it's the best bet for these. Let's put turrets on five. Right, so I can't just like step over there and place this. Don't think I can. Oh, can I? Can I? Can I? Yes, I can. Uh, just put it there. Build planner, 15 metal grids and a turret. Right, so now we have that, we need to give it some ammunition. So let's go into production. Ammunition, NATO rounds. Do as many of those as I can. I'll do those first. So there's one turret on that side. Let's just configure it. Meteors on, yes. Small ships, yeah. Rockets, no. Control 
Uh, enemies on, yep. Okay, that's fine. Um, aiming radius 600 meters. 800 meters. Oh, that's 800 meters max, I guess. Used to be a kilometer, I'm sure. No, it's 800 meters, and it? it's a kilometer for manual aiming. Is that connected? Better be. Okay. That's one turret anyway. So we need another one on the other side for sure. So we can do that with... We'll do a T here. Or do we do a T on the next? No, we do a straight one here. Then we T here. Oh, cross junction, actually, it's better. And then on the end, I'll just put a normal straight one here. Let's see which way is it's not airtight. That one. Okay. They're not very airtight, really are not, but I'm not sure we need a like great deal of air tightness in this section. We can literally airtight a room for safety. Um five and six. Right. That's the same. I wonder which one that is. It can't be that one. It's probably that one. Are these finally seeing us as a threat because of the antenna on that? I have two antennas here. 302 meters, 5 kilometers. Oh shoot, that doesn't need to be that big at all. Can to make that 20 meters. Yeah, it is possible that that's picking up my antenna signal because they're overlapping. And they're thinking that we're too close. So lowering that antenna signal might be good enough. Probably need to take that out at some point. It's just over the rise and if he gets too pissed off at us, it could start sending stuff in. Right. More reason why we need turrets. So both of those should now be active. Default settings on this should be fine. Let's move that up to 800 meters. Need yours on, yep. Small ships on. Yep, yep, yep. Our stations could be off actually. I mean, when are we going to ever see a station anywhere near here? <laughs> Right, so that handles everything, that little hemisphere, and everything in that little hemisphere. There's a blind spot, like there and there. So we still need to tow it on this side. Well, that's going again, which means we refined a lot of what we already had. Energy low. Okay, energy's low. Let's go and deal with that first. Right, so where are we at? While we're sat here, we can have a look at our materials. Um, we've got plenty of water. We've got plenty of emergency food. Still. We're sitting on 630,000 sto stone. 
think that must, have, that, that must have been a drill banging into the wall. It must come through so quickly it just can't stop in time. Um, or it's gone out of its range. I'm hoping it hasn't. Um, iron, 100 and, what, 107,000? Okay. Still quite low. Ice. We have no ice. At all. That drill should get down to ice at some point. That should turn blue. Yep, went blue. Went back. Yeah, it does kind of slam a little bit. I think it's a bit tough to break. Hmm. Okay, it was fine, it works anyway. That is so cool how that works. Look at that. See, I just want a banana. <laughs> right, anyway. Um, how am I doing on my current... Oh, okay, I'm out of completely out of rations in my bag. I think I put them into here by mistake. Um, well, they're not sitting there. I can take maybe 10 litres of water. Where's that? Emergency rations food dispenser is in there. We'll take those as well, just so we've got them in on us. Gotta use them up. Right, so we need to do something about that thing crashing and banging, so rotor what's our braking torque could do it being a bit higher and our sensor left extent right extent of four meters I'm going to extend them out one more meter Just give it that extra meter to stop. Where were we? Okay, we were getting some uh, turrets up on top. So we need at least one turret on this side here. We could put it... I think we just need one somewhere in the middle there for now. Um, we can put lots more turrets in eventually. If we start getting threatened by the enemy, we can have turrets stationed around somewhere. Um, for now, I don't think it's particularly necessary. Um, right, let's have a think about this. So we're going to have a wall here. I have to have two turrets on this side, I think, actually. So, one, two, yeah. So let's whack that in here. So we've got something to anchor this to. That, that was that block that was already there for a long time. Right. So our first... The only way I'm going to be able to do this is using a load of these blocks. This one has to be a C section, I think. T C. Let's get this right. That's like that. Okay. And we have that there. This needs welding up immediately. This other stuff we're going to have to figure out how to get up there to weld it up but we'll sort that out when the time comes uh, I should have access to materials through there yeah okay and then we need to have our turrets on that Go 
got access to materials here as well. Slightly less risky. Uh, we're going to have to put a load of metal grids. Okay, I think we're out of magnesium powder for them, so... I need to put a bunch of metal grids to production. Because that's mostly what we're short of right now. I could take it from under there to here rather than going all the way around. But I think not. Uh, we actually need to weld these up. Fall down there again. Right, okay, so let's bring this pipe around. So we need to use more of, no, not them, these, but straights now. Yes. Uh, okay, one, two. Work this out one, two, and then that. Right, okay, we need another C here, I think. Just make it easier to see. One, two, one. One, two, this. Yeah, okay, T section here. I'm so glad for these blocks because they're more efficient than using the six ways. Because the six way ones, you know, it has to calculate all six directions of uh, possibility for each, all the component stuff. Okay, that's frozen again, so we must have filled up the cargo. Okay, right, we're looking good here. Right. No, we definitely won't get all of this finished in one go. But we should get a lot of it done. Um, right. And so far we've barely needed any scaffolding. Just a little bit of smart building. Right, so from here... I'm going to place another... I'm going to do a straight and then a T. So that's straight, isn't it? Yes. And a T. That way, yes. Okay, and then off that we're going to have straight one of these for now. Yeah. I am. Oh, it's starting to get sunlight. I am looking forward to taking a paint gun around here and actually, like, painting things up properly, but we've got to get some stuff working first. Did they all go on? Yep. Okay. So that's that done. Uh, we also need to start thinking about putting the wall in around that. Yep, energy's low. I'm glad that's loud. Right. OK, 
Okay, so that's turrets in three directions so far. We could do them in that direction because that's where the enemy is, but for the moment it's something. Should make working outside just a little bit safer. Right, how are we looking on battery stored? Uh, batteries are fairly well powered up. We have plenty of energy. We've got a little bit of a store of steel plates going. We're completely out of magnesium. Well, near enough out of magnesium, so... Uh, that is a slight problem. We're certainly going to need to get more of that. That means a trip and mining, and it seems now that also means... Uh, yeah. That also means possibility of spiders on a mining trip. We're going to need to build some kind of a vehicle that can defend me while I'm doing that. Otherwise I will find I'll be respawning back here. Now, I don't want to start dying yet. I've not really even achieved anything yet. If we have some weather coming in, again, my oxygen level is depleting, so I'm going to go and sit in something oxygenated. And I have to be very aware that... What is that picking up on? That stepping out there can bring spiders. See, any time I stand on sand, that could mean spiders. It has been mentioned that I should possibly turn spiders off to make the game more enjoyable because of how much it absolutely scared me when the first spider turned up. It's because it was the first spider, it wasn't expected. But that's where the adrenaline comes in and that's half the fun of the game. I would not change that. Uh, we've got batteries there that need welding up. Which means I need to take this wall down so at some point to get to them, but... We can get to them in later. Right, now, dealing with this bit, because I don't want that in the way anymore. We can go under. Uh, these are the old stuff. What are we shooting at? Must have been spiders. Right. At least I know that works. So what we want to do here is we want to connect this solder up. These are, these two are connected together. We've got that pipe running across there for now, but what we could do is bring it under here instead. So we don't have to disconnect the pipe until we're actually ready to. So if we're using these, so let's cut a space. So take you out. Got to be aware spiders can turn up inside the base. So we're going to fill these in as quickly as we're able. Um, this needs to be a C that way. Nope that way. That needs to be straight. I think it's got to be that way. Let's just do it so I can see it here. Yeah, okay. Like that. Um...
I think we need... Yeah, let me set this one out. And replace it with the same again. That tea thing's turned on again. under there. All this is connected up to stuff so I can I can drill out. That one. Uh, the middle one is that one. I can't quite reach. Right. Risking it slightly here. That's a C. I've got to weld that up first. Lots of too much stuff in me. Okay, that's fine. Take that off there. Right. Now I can do a another C. Like that. And another straight one. That's the right way. Like that. And we can put that block back there to protect ourselves. Construction components needed. Okay, and then we just need one fancy pipe because it's got to look nice. Unfortunately, that's not airtight though. That doesn't really work. Okay. That's a shame. We're going to have to put something a bit more substantial on that. Right. Uh, we could go see that way, but then I'd need to panel over it. I right, can do that. It doesn't look too bad like that actually, but then we definitely need to put a plate over it. Maybe we do a light over it. We haven't got any lights in the base yet. Where did I put that light? I must have taken it off. Okay, that's not so bad. We have a light there. For now. 
I think we put lights on the ceiling and stuff, actually. No, that just looks random. As much as I like lights, that's just too random where it is. I'll stick a panel here. We might put like an LCD panel or something in later, but for now. Let's do that. Right. Okay. Hmm. We may as well get at least one of these built up. Let's get some power cells done. We're going to move this whole section here upstairs at some point or into another building. Probably another building eventually. Is this starting to come together? We are going to definitely need to build up some more defences because as this building gets bigger and our threat score increases, we're going to have to be careful. Uh, for example, I think a while ago our threat score was like 59 last time I checked it. That's... Uh, Three hundred and eighty eight now. So our threat score is much higher. I don't think cargo ships can fly in per time atmosphere. I think that's the only reason why we haven't seen any at the moment. Because normal cargo ships cannot fly in this atmosphere. That's not to say we won't possibly see any. More likely gonna see them when we get up to space. But I think the spider threat's enough. And the weather and our own stupidity. Okay, we have an additional battery. That doesn't look airtight. I think once we build the block behind it, I think we're fine. Right. We may have to move the batteries. We can leave those there, but we'll put a dedicated battery space in. That would actually make a lot more sense uh, than they're serviceable. And also, given that enemies do tend to like to target batteries first. Assuming we get any enemies coming over, I mean, there's a possibility that, that the base there could go into war mode at some point, at any point, really. It's kind of just what they do. I think right now our only lucky thing is they can't see us because our antennas are too small. But they have seen us. Right, anyway, now that I've done that, I should be able to remove all this. Meteor Storm. I only hope that none of them hit us. But it does look like the antennas are doing their job. Sorry, the uh, turrets are doing their job. Uh, how are we on ammunition now? Can I see inventory from here? Yeah, I can. We've got a, fair, a reasonable amount. Why has that only got two? can move between everything so everything is still piped up 
which is good. Uh, okay, did I pick all that? Yeah, I did. Um, oh, my food and everything's gone back into the system. Ration. Yeah, it looks like that went in. For some reason, it went into my. What, what is small cargo container two? That's got to be. Huh. I believe there's still plate in there. That's in that. Right. Organic here needs to be over here. Oh, that's full. Um, we need to start producing food from that. Put the rest of that down there for a minute. Yeah, we need to stop producing more food. Okay. We haven't got any of the algae stuff that we need for most of this for the moment, so we're just going to have to produce a bit more nutrient solution. Hmm. We're going to need that to make algae. But we don't do that in here, so we need to actually produce proper... Okay. For the moment... How are we on synth food? Food. Got 48 of the stuff. We're okay for a while. We don't really need to be thinking about all of that. So for the time being, we just yeah leave all that as it is. Um, I'll just put this stuff that I don't need into here for the moment. Good. Let's weld up some of this. Well, that's not what I was trying to weld. Ugh. Actually, have to take down. done already. Okay. That's all the difficult blocks done. Most of them anyway. Let's uh oh wait. Oh I can do this one. We can save ourselves some by not doing that one underneath the door. And we don't literally have to weld up every single block, only the ones that could possibly affect air tightness and critical components. Okay, it looks like I think everything got away with... Let's have a quick look upstairs. Now that it's light... See if there was any damage done by... The meteors. 
No, I think everything stayed in one pace. Yeah. The turrets did a reasonable job there. Oh, we are going to have to put some turrets on that side, which means extending this way out over there. Um, I think we could do it from like this level here by just building out this floor all the way across. It's mostly the outside wall that's going to need lifter. Well, to be honest, I could even build the whole thing without the lifter, but it's going to be a lot easier with it when we start actually doing the outside welding. Mm -hmm. And any other like decoration details and little bits like getting on the roof and stuff without stairs to the roof. Um, we're certainly going to need them for that. Eesh, this is a lot of welding we're going to have to do over here. We haven't even done downstairs yet. Righty. Where did we get to? Let's just make sure. I'm sure there was a block around here that I hadn't fully welded before. I ended up getting distracted. I can actually breathe now. I don't need to have my helmet shut. It's wasting oxygen. I know. I'm definitely going to have to do something about that at some point. Figure out a way of piping that to the main structure. Uh, that's a C. God, yeah. Right, let's have a think about this. So out of the out of the um, assembler we have a C shape which could be swapped out for No, the C shape on the top's fine. It's the C shape on the bottom that could be swapped out for a T. And then we could run a line under to there. Oof. Or we could bring a line up there and take it off to pipe in. It's going to run across there anyway. It's a long way around to go though. I'd rather come under here. We won't disturb that because it's connected to the block next to it. So it's all about this. So if I remove that, replace it with a T. connected again. And then under here. Needs to be a C uh, straight. Okay, 
another straight one. I mean, I do like the PyPX aesthetic, but like, when you've got limited space, there really isn't much you can do about it. Okay, and we're going to have to take that out. Um, but not just yet. It should be... Yeah. Okay. So yeah, slowly but surely the jankiness that was here before is starting to be resolved. But obviously like, it was just a case of quick and nasty to start with. Right, we need to take that out but without disconnecting the connector on the other side. So what I'm going to have to do, uh, I don't like the idea of stepping on the floor. <laughs> right, are we going to have to connect the connector? Will that work if I do it there? If I put that block there, I think that will do it. Then I can... Yeah, that's good enough. Right. So, we can have here... See, let's get this right. Right, and then here, I actually want to make this a T section. Possibly a full conveyor, not the sorter, obviously. Yeah, because I think a T section is going to be a hard one to. Oh no, we can airtight it. Is that correct? Yeah. I know we know we won't use the left hand side of it, but we'll use the right hand side of it. Right. And these little bays around here are not going to be they're not necessarily going to have like floors underneath them. Oh, I can pull that now. Some of these will. So I could put some floor down there. Can't put it there. We just need to sort of like build it where we're able. And we can always move these up if need be later on. Um, for the moment this will be okay I think we don't need that one we don't need that one actually game the floor is lava
did we finish that? Yeah, we did. Okay, so that's the entire interior floor. At least for the under, so for the lower floor. Weld it. Uh, we've got a door here to do. Okay, that's nothing else in production, so we can just get things straight away now. Good. Right, now we can start. Uh, we have a problem there. We put a window in front of a door. So I believe we need to turn that around, maybe. Don't have enough space for all that stuff. Okay, yeah, let's do that for a minute. I know it gets rid of all my food, but hey. Right, let's do this the right way around, so. Door. Uh, what kind of door can we do? It's got to be an offset door. That's better. That solves that problem. Uh, this again, this will be moved. Um, right, we need to get more steel plates. Did we ever end up getting any ice? No, we didn't. Inventory does not currently include food and water right now, so we need to grab that back. Where's the water that I... Oh, we have ice. 294,000. We did get ice. Okay. That's a good start. Oh, uh, it went over there again. That's what it did. We've still got emergency rations, so we want to use that up first, actually. Before we do anything else, so we'll put this with the other synth food. And what I'm also going to do, I'm going to... Name this seat. Let's see if that works. Yes, it does force eating. Only gets you up to 50% now. Ah, water gets up to 125. That's good. Right, so you get a little bit of a water bonus for sitting in a seat with noms on it. 
That's excellent. Right, let's get some of these windows welded up, so... Can't reach the third level from here. Okay, I think we've welded up nearly everything that we can do from like on foot ground level. There is like upstairs that we could do like from on foot. I think we could weld up this ceiling. Uh, maybe we do that now. So there's this whole floor here. which is mostly sci-fi interior wall which needs a lot of construction po components and interior plates so all right interior plates let's see well let's just fill us up with that swap it for these um put that there put a little more of that in do what I can with the interior plate first. Uh, let's start from here. Right, that's all of that. And now we need to swap what we've got left for. Well, let's see, where's all the. Where's all the components here hiding? Oh, we better get our energy. Yeah, we place these this way up so the lighting points into this room to provide us a little extra light. It doesn't provide a lot, but it's something. How many... Uh, okay, we've got 26 left there. It's not a lot, but it's a start. we we'll just top ourselves up now. That's a normal floor bit done. We need some steel plate to do the rest of that. Right, I see upstairs floor done. This needs to be looked at. Uh, we're going to have, definitely have modules in there. I feel that we could plate over some of this. could like do that hmm. no I suppose we don't make that a feature if we do that not so much a usable area but protects it unless I find something to put on top of it that's useful which we probably will at some point we have weather coming in we should check what that is it's probably a sandstorm again Dust. Is that like bog? Just says dust. It looks like it possibly slows down the turbines. <sighs> I 
it's like fog, but it's like the desert version of fog, I suppose. Um, lovely. Okay. That's nasty and annoying. Right, where have we got to with all of this? Uh, the outside needs a wall at the top. We need to pipe through from there to down there. We could probably do a continuing this floor all the way over. Which is going to require a lot more, but I think for that portion of it, it can just be all steel plate. Which means we need to produce a lot more steel plate. Uh, let's just do a little... Uh, I'm not sure about that. We probably need to put some sort of railing on here. There's our doubles. We're not going to put anything over that spot, so I can just do a little half railing here, other side. I reserve the right not to have to do that bit in case I need to just like jump off. Or well, perhaps actually, is there a three way railing? That's unfortunate. Could do with that with the one on the end as well. Like those two join together if it's one. I could put one there, but that, that's in the way. It's a shame. Never mind. Right. Next. We're going to place this floor and then we're going to call it because this has gone for quite a long time now I know we haven't had bit got around to using the lifter but I'll be honest it's not been needed just yet it will be needed but this bit is like a really long portion of the job so I could do this with just plate but I kind of want it to be strong trying to save weight. Uh, the lift is not going to help us with these bits along this run here so what I do need to do is just temporarily put some kind of like step up across here Just so I can weld those up. I can grind these down from here. Right, that's that bit done. It's quite a lot done. Uh, we've got a window there. Got a window here and they're opposites with a door in the middle and the same on the other side. Doesn't quite match. There one yeah, these are the way around. That's fine. 
they're opposites. Um, not sure what to do with this. Maybe we could put a triple across here. One, two, three. And do the same on the other side. One, two, three, maybe. Mm, we'll see. But for now, I think that's a good place to leave it. We have a roof above our heads now. We've cleaned up all of this and tidied up the extras so we've got more walking around space. We actually have an upstairs now. We're using the refinery as part of the upstairs motion, which is great. We could actually use this to build some more space in here and like have a computer area here maybe. So we could actually use this upper level, some of it at least. Use some of the new scaffolding or catwalks and such. Um, so yeah, we've got all of this area up here now. Two new cargo containers. We've got a couple of turrets. One, two, three, four. We need to extend that piping down to here and build turrets on this side. And then we need to get the lifter out to help us weld up the whole top. And some more of the wall parts that are a little harder to reach. And then we need to start looking at getting on to the top of there. And getting some solar panels up. And then we can start decorating this interior with all the things we need. Um, again, this is mostly an industrial building. So anything we do put up here that's not industrial will probably be temporary. We will more than likely build some sort of a residential building over here, maybe under the trees. So that's where we are at the moment. Um, next time, we're going to look at doing all of that. And eventually, we need to start thinking about what we do with this little thing. Uh, do we leave the survival kit on board here? Because it is our only survival kit. Or do we place it somewhere in the base? I'm not entirely certain either way because this is movable. If this base got trashed, we could fly away. Hmm. But yeah, we still have this goal of getting up into space, finding the Earth-like planet and building a sustainable, self-sustaining base on the Earth-like planet. But first thing we need to do is build a base here. So yeah, that's where we stand at the moment. And uh, 